In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to delete photos from Google Photos. So if you have photos stored in Google Photos and you want to delete some of them, in this video, Timmy's going to show you how. First of all, Timmy's going to show you how to delete photos from the Google Photos app on a phone, because Timmy imagines most people will probably want to do that. But if you want to delete photos from the Google Photos website on a computer, Timmy will show you how to do that towards the end of the video as well, so stick around for that. But so when you're on your phone in the Google Photos app, if you want to delete just one photo, you can just tap on the photo you want to delete, and then tap on the trash can icon down here, and tap on move to trash, and now the photo's moved to trash, and it says down here move to trash. Or if you want to delete multiple photos at once, you can hold down on the first one so it becomes checked like this, and then you can tap a few other photos, and they will all be selected as well. And then if you want to delete all the ones you just selected, you can tap on this trash can here, and tap move to trash. And now they'll be moved to trash. So when you delete photos from Google Photos like that, the photos will be deleted from Google Photos, so they no longer show up when you go and look at your Google Photos. And they'll also be deleted from any of your devices if they're on it. So, for example, if you took a picture on your phone and it got backed up to Google Photos, it would probably still be on your phone as well as being on Google Photos. And if that's the case, when you delete that photo, it will be deleted from Google Photos and deleted from your phone or maybe your tablet. So it works like that. So that's something to keep in mind. It will be removed from your devices if it's synced with it that way. But the photos you delete in Google Photos will actually go into the Google Photos trash folder and they will stay there for 60 days before they get permanently deleted. So if you change your mind and want to bring one back, you can quite easily just go in there and bring it back as long as it's less than 60 days since you deleted it. So now that you've deleted the photos, if you tap on library down here and then tap on trash here, you'll see all the photos that are in your trash. And if you just deleted them because you, they're photos you don't really want and you don't really care about having them and you just don't really want them there, that's fine. You can just leave them in this folder and they will disappear within 60 days, well, after 60 days. But if you want them to be gone immediately, you don't want them taking up storage in your Google Photos or you just don't want them to exist anymore, you can come in here to trash and select them all like Timmy showed you before. And then tap delete down here and they will be completely removed and then tap on permanently delete and now they are completely 100% removed and they just no longer exist at all and that's all there is to it. So that's really cool and if you wanted to delete photos from the Google Photos website on your computer it's really pretty much the same process. So if you wanted to delete this photo here you could just click on it and then click on this trash icon here and then click on move to trash and it will move it to trash, and now it's in trash. So that's how you delete one photo, or if you wanted to delete a whole lot of photos from your computer, you could hover over the mouse over it like this, and click on the tick here, and then you can just click on each photo like that. And now, if you wanted to delete these photos, you could just select them all like that, and then click on the trash icon, and then click on move to trash and then they're deleted as well. And it will work exactly the same way when you delete photos from the website as when you delete them from the app. So the photos you delete will be removed from your Google Photos. So as you can see, they're no longer showing up here and they'll be removed from any of your devices. So if the photos were on your phone, they're now no longer on your phone. And if you come down here into trash, you'll see the photos you just deleted will be here in trash. And if you want to remove them permanently from trash, you can just select them all again here, like that, and then click delete permanently, and then click delete. So now those photos are completely permanently removed from trash, and they're no longer there at all. And you don't have to bother deleting them permanently if you're just deleting the occasional one or two photos that you just don't really want, because you can just leave it in this trash folder and it will disappear after 60 days. But if there's a whole lot of photos that you really wanted completely gone from your Google Photos, you can just come in here and delete them permanently, and then they're completely gone, the photos no longer exist anymore. So that's all there is to deleting photos from Google Photos, but if you want to know how to remove photos from your phone while keeping them on Google Photos, so that you can still see them all on Google Photos, but you don't have anything taking up all that space on your phone, so we made a previous video about that, so if you go in the video description down below, you'll find a link to view that and learn how to do that. But that's all there is to this video, so hopefully you found this helpful, 
And if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button down below. And click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every time Timmy makes a new video. So, that's really cool, and Timmy will see you in the next video.